ROS is an acronym that stands for Restriction of the Use of Certain Hazardous Substances. ROS imposes limitations for concentrations of lead, cadmium, mercury, hexavalent chromium, PBBs, and PBDEs. From July 2019, four phthalates are also added to the restricted list. They are BBP, DBP, DEHP, and DIBP. These restrictions apply to electrical and electronic equipment placed into the EU market. In order to confirm EU ROAS conformity of an assembly, you should not only consider each electronic component, but also the materials of every cable, label, hardware, welding, paste, casing, chassis, etc. In other words, wherever restricted substances may be found. One to dozens of homogeneous materials should be analyzed within the same components such as plastics, metals, ceramics, epoxy finish, solder, painting, etc. In doing so, standard IEC 63000 technical documentation for the assessment of electrical and electronic products with respect to the restriction of hazardous substances recommends the documentary approach with suppliers, which is recognized by both industry and enforcement authorities. Since 2013, by labeling an electrical or electronic product with CE, you are implicitly declaring its compliance with ROHAS. Finally, ROHAS allows restricted substances to be exempted for certain categories of products and applications. Most electrical and electronic equipment benefits from one or more exemptions that should appear on your product declaration of conformity. To access the up-to-date lists of these ROAS exemptions and for more details, please visit our anvarpass.ca website.